Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The lithography machine is an important equipment for manufacturing chips. Humanity has been exploring it for half a century. From the principle of designing the EUV lithography machine to successfully manufacturing it, it can be said that the EUV lithography machine brings together the crystallization of the wisdom of all mankind. However, due to restrictions in Western countries, mainland manufacturers are unable to purchase EUV lithography machines. At a critical moment, there was news on the internet that Tsinghua University's EUV project has been launched and a lithography machine factory will be built in China and foreign EUV lithography machines will not be needed. What are the facts? Official Official Response The photolithography machine is a very important step in the chip manufacturing process. It can project the chip design pattern onto the silicon wafer to form tiny circuit structures. The accuracy and stability of the lithography machine directly affect the manufacturing quality and performance of the chip. The manufacture of modern chips requires the use of very sophisticated lithography machines, the most advanced of which can project nanometer level patterns onto silicon wafers. When it comes to chip manufacturing at 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers and below, it requires the support of EUV lithography machines. Although there are many light sources that are comparable to EUV extreme ultraviolet light sources, so far EUV is the only light source technology that has been commercially deployed and supports large-scale mass production. The remaining electron beams, X-rays, etc., have not yet been truly used in chip manufacturing. However, a light source technology study by Tsinghua University many years ago attracted people's attention. This study reported the first principal verification experiment of a new type of particle accelerator light source, steady state microbunching. Steady-state microbunching is also known as as SSMB. Among the application potential of SSMB, it may become the light source of EUV lithography machine in the future. It must be noted that this is only a theoretical verification and has not yet been put into practical application. However, there is a lot of news on the internet indicating that Tsinghua University's EUV project has been completed and a photolithography machine factory will be built in Xiong'an new area. The general situation is that the use of lithography machine factories can accurately control the nanometer process and the required nanometers can be taken at which node and the lithography machine factory can replace the traditional EUV lithography machine. The news was spread in a precise manner, and there were even pictures and truths. The online news released a picture of a building in the shape of a ring, corresponding to the construction status of the lithography machine factory. The news spread online became more and more intense, and many people felt that it was indeed true. So what are the facts? The official responded officially. On September 18, the China Electronics Institute announced that the lithography machine factory rumored on the internet is the Beijing High Energy Synchrotron Radiation Source Project, HEPS. According to the introduction, this project is China's first high energy synchrotron radiation light source and one of the brightest fourth-generation synchrotron radiation light sources in the world. In other words, this is a large domestic scientific device 
mainly used for scientific experiments, not a so-called lithography machine factory. More information shows that the high-energy synchrotron radiation light source project in Beijing started in 2019 and is expected to be officially put into use in 2025. Once it enters operation, it will be of great benefit to China's exploration of the microscopic world. In fact, you only need to have an in-depth understanding of the project to know the truth, and the false news about the photolithography machine factory spread online will not spread wildly. The people who initially spread the news captured the Chinese people's expectations for breakthroughs in lithography machine manufacturing technology and the production of high-end chips. This expectation can easily be exploited by people with intentions and become a tool for others to earn traffic and gain gimmicks. There is a mixed bag of information on the internet and it is easy to be fooled without knowing what is going on. Especially when it comes to scientific research, because the principles are too complex and there are too many scientific terms, ordinary people don't know the specific situation and can only let it go. With the official response, it also made it clear to the outside world that the photolithography machine factory does not really exist. The Chinese people are all looking forward to good news, and the country has been working hard to improve the domestic chip industry chain, instead of spreading false news to let people receive wrong knowledge. This is not beneficial to real scientific and technological progress, and it is easy to pour cold water on it. Work steadily and make progress with steady accumulation. Although the news about the lithography machine factory is false, domestic research and development in the field of lithography machines has not stopped. China has its own photolithography machine manufacturer, Shanghai Microelectronics, and behind it there are corresponding domestic photolithography machine parts suppliers responsible for the dual workpiece stage, objective lens system, exposure system, etc. As long as the four major problems of the photolithography machine can be successfully solved, I believe the subsequent R&D, design and production manufacturing will fall into place. The development of China's lithography machine industry needs to be steady and steady, with accumulated accumulation. Therefore, the lithography machine industry needs to continuously carry out technological innovation to improve product quality and production efficiency and provide customers with better services and products. Enterprises need to strengthen research and development in hardware and software to continuously improve their core competitiveness. Moreover, companies need to seek partners and establish strategic partnerships to jointly develop markets and promote industrial development. Cooperation between enterprises can achieve mutual benefit and win-win results by sharing resources, technology, and market information. A large part of the reason for the success of ASML in the Netherlands is its in-depth cooperation with manufacturers such as TSMC and Samsung. They are both customers and shareholders. As long as ASML develops advanced photolithography machine technology, it can be verified in the customer's production line and interact with each other. Help each other achieve common growth. Chinese lithography machine manufacturers and supply chain giants can also establish a platform to share resources and work together for the advancement of domestic lithography machines. Western countries started earlier 
and took the lead in occupying the core position of lithography machines. It is expected that Chinese lithography machines will one day catch up.